right just when we thought that the 2021 coaching carousel in college football was was already insane uh we got bigger news when oklahoma opened up you know uh lincoln riley i don't i don't think his name was as a surprise that it was out there i think a lot of people were thinking potentially he could go to lsu but instead he goes to to usc and, and heads out west and i i talked about that in a previous video on the ramifications of that and how he'll do at usc but here because lincoln riley left what is oklahoma going to do oklahoma has been one of the premier programs in college football over the last several years including you know, making the college football playoff in what seems like a, a yearly fashion. And that leaves a big ho opening. I, you know, you would have, who would have said at the beginning of this year that you would have Florida, LSU, USC, and Oklahoma all open. Those are four premier jobs. And it'll be fascinating to see what Joe Castiglione does uh, with this hire. Because in all reality, his only hire has been Bob Stoops. And when Bob Stoops stepped down, Lincoln Riley stepped into that role, and it was a seamless transition. And this is a job that is one of the premier jobs, not only because of the success that they've had and the commitment to the program, but the, the consistency with the administration. And it's considered one of the, probably the better jobs out there. So that, that's another reason why it was a bit of a surprise that, Cliff King, uh, that Lincoln Riley ended up leaving for USC. So, so who could Oklahoma hire? Who could they go out and get? And that, that's what I'm going to talk about here. Now, reports are out there. Adam Schefter, chief among them, have reported that Cliff Kingsbury, the current Arizona Cardinals head coach, is one of their targets, one of their main targets. I don't know if I believe this. I, um, I'm sure they've gone out and uh, w went after him and talked to him and, and are – trying to get him I'm, I'm not dismissing that um, Oklahoma wants to be an offensive innovator they had that with Lincoln Riley even when Bob Stoops was the head coach he was a defensive minded head coach but he always had unique offensive guys like Mike Leach like Mark Mangino those type of guys and so to go out and try and get Cliff Kingsbury who you know brought in a lot of good quarterbacks at Texas Tech didn't have much on the field success now is with Arizona Cardinals and has the best record in the NFL. Now, I think from Kingsbury's point of view, I think this is just a contract ploy. He only has one year left on his on his deal. I can't see him leaving the Cardinals to go to Oklahoma, but who knows? Um, but I, I think this is a way to get him a contract extension and a big deal. So let's look at some of the, co the college coaches that are out there. I think this job could get someone from the NFL. I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't think there's that person out there that would come back into the college game for this job. Um, I think two names that you got to start with are Matt Campbell and Luke Fickle. Here's two of the hottest names in college football um, with the coaching carousel, and, and two names that I haven't really attached or I thought were viable candidates for some of the other jobs. I couldn't see the, either of them going out west to USC. I didn't really think either of them would go to LSU uh, in, in the SEC or Florida. This job to me is a little bit different. I don't, you know, if it's it's more Midwest. Um, it is going to be an SEC job uh, sooner rather than later. But I think those two guys. I think I, I don't think they would take this job. But I think it's a stronger chance for them to go to Oklahoma than it would be those other three uh, big openings that we just had. Um, a couple other names. Um, I, I think you've got to honestly look at Mark Stoops at Kentucky just for the fact that you know that Bob Stoops is going to be playing a major role in this hire you know Bob Stoops is still there he still lives in Norman still has you know he's going to be the interim head coach uh, for the bowl game you know he's going to have a strong say in who the next Oklahoma head coach is and it only be fitting for him to reach out to his brother who is having tremendous success at Kentucky to bring him to Oklahoma now, I've said before on the LSU coaching opening, the Florida opening, Mark Stoops has got it pretty made at Kentucky. He's got a lot of Ohio connections. You can get all those Ohio players who want to play in the SEC to come to Kentucky. They're on the easier division. And there's not a ton of expectations. 
Now, if Mark Stoops wants to to win national championships, he's going to have to leave. Sorry, Kentucky fans. And Oklahoma could be a possibility, you know, get a live by his brother. Um, he's never coached there. It's not like uh, his, his other brother, who was the defensive coordinator in that. Um, Stoops has kind of coached all over the place, Arizona, Florida, Kentucky now. I think he's a strong possibility. Um, what about some of these former Oklahoma assistants? You know, Mike Leach. There's a guy, once again, when Bob Stoops was hired as the head coach, Mike Leach was his offensive coordinator, running that air raid in the Big 12. Would Leach, who's got SEC experience and is, you know, in year two, getting Mississippi State on the right path, would he leave to go to Oklahoma, which is, in essence, a bigger, a bigger and better job? Hey, what about Josh Heupel, you know, Tennessee's head coach? Look at the one, you know, did well replacing Scott Frost at Central Florida, goes to Tennessee and is doing very well there and, and may, that has a good offense and then Hooker is developing into a potential NFL quarterback. Would he go back to Oklahoma where he was fired as the off? He was formerly Bob Stoops' offensive coordinator, got fired, doesn't seem to be on good on speaking terms with Stoops and the, the the university. Would he put that aside to go back and be the head coach from where he played quarterback for and, and, and had a lot of success as a quarterback? And then what about what about Brett, Brett Venables? Hey, right? Clemson's defor- defensive coordinator. Talk about a former Bob Stoops coach who was technically maybe fired, um, left on his own, pushed out, whatever you want to call it. Venables was their defensive coordinator, the defenses weren't that great, goes to Clemson and has turned them into a defensive juggernaut, recruited at a high level. You know, Venables is from the Midwest area, you know, played and coached at Kansas State, coached at Oklahoma. Would he want to come back? He's been very picky about where he wants to go. Would this be the job that gets him out of Clemson? Would they want to go that route or would they want to stick to the offensive offensive way? Uh, If we go outside of the Oklahoma tree, what about some of the top offensive minds in college football? I think Lane Kiffin is a name you really got to keep an eye on. You know, Lane Kiffin, once again, is having all the success at Ole Miss. You know, he's got them as a top 10 team, but what could he do at Oklahoma? It, You know, this year is probably the cap of where Ole Miss can be. They're going to have good years. They, You know, it wouldn't shock me if Ole Miss made a college football playoff. But that's going to be once in a gener- a once in a decade type play. If Lane Kiffin wants to be a true contender for national championships year in and year out, a place like Oklahoma could be the where to go. And you got that talent. You're closer to Texas. You you know it's a it's a high better more high profile funded program, and I think that's definitely an option. Uh, to kind of keep an eye on. And I, I don't think Kiffin's in a, in a looking to necessarily leave, but I think if he did, Oklahoma would be a spot that he could possibly go. Now, Oklahoma's not afraid to hire first-time co- head coaches. You know, Bob Stoops was the defensive coordinator at Florida before he came to Oklahoma. Lincoln Riley was just the offensive coordinator at East Carolina, then Oklahoma, when he took over. So they're not afraid to go in that that coordinator route. So if you can't maybe get a Lane Kiffin, why not get his offensive coordinator, Jeff Levy, who is primed to be getting a head coaching job soon. You know, been there, you know, with Art Bryles at Baylor. He's been with Lane Kiffin at, at Ole Miss. Why not go that route? Okay. If we go the defensive route, you know, big, you know, Oklahoma's going to be going to the SEC soon. So you want to have maybe someone who with SEC ties, who SEC experience, What about going the defensive route again and going Dan Lanning from Georgia, another up-and-coming head coach, uh, defensive coordinator who's going to be a head coach soon. Um, Definitely something, but, you know, he's going to be head coach soon. You know, what he's doing with Georgia, I know it's Kirby Smart's defense, um, but he's the defensive coordinator. What he's doing there and and recruiting and building up that defense is tremendous. So I think Oklahoma is going to have a lot of suitors. I don't think this is a job like LSU where it's like, oh, gosh, it seems like everyone's turning them down. If I had my guess, I think this job boils down to either Mark Stoops, Lane Kiffin, or um, or Brett Venables. I think those are the, the three guys that I think they're probably going to end up going with. 
if I had my gut, I think it's going to be Mark Stoops. It just, you know, to me makes the most sense. Um, I think he'd do tremendous there. But like I said, I'm not ruling out Lane Kiffin for this job.